Today we're looking at issues with the Ford Paths Security Relearn and Parameter Reset. The same applies for Lincoln, Mercury, Mazdas, anything that uses paths. In this case, the paths info is stored in the gauge cluster. This is, all this stuff is out of an 08 Explorer. Got the cluster, transponder ring, engine control module, some other stuff. Um, right now, you can see the security light when I turn the ignition on flashing rapidly. Put the other key in. Also flashing rapidly, which means keys aren't learned or paired with anything. So what we're going to do is pull up forward. I'm going to connect to this. It's going to make us wait 10 minutes. I'm going to cut the video, come back after 10 minutes is up, show you the process, the steps I take. Control function location, I see instrument cluster. I'm back a little early. So more to the story. They ended up buying a PCM from us, but everything they tried, they couldn't get the keys to pair. So I walked them through a few different things. They have the official Ford tool, the VCM, and they have an IDS subscription, but everything they tried, no go. Ended up just having them mail me their PCM, their gauge cluster, their keys, see if I could do anything with it. Hooked up to my gauge cluster because I have one on hand for, you know, research purposes. And I was able to pair everything with my cluster. I hooked theirs up and I was getting the same problem. So this first scenario we're going through is the successful scenario. My gauge cluster, their PCM, their keys, transponder ring, etc. And a successful pairing. After this, we're going to go through the failure with their uh, gauge cluster and talk about some of the reasons why it wouldn't pair. And we'll be back in a few minutes. And we're back. Ten minutes is up. Move the computer over a bit. Security access granted. We're going to do the parameter reset first. And we're going to erase the keys. Now it wants us to turn off the ignition, disconnect the tool, which I'm doing off camera. Wait 10 seconds. Keep an eye on the security light during this. 10 minutes is probably up. Turn the ignition on for six. Security lights on. It's probably been six seconds. Turn the ignition off. Swap the keys. Turn it on. Security light goes out. Now let's put the first key back in. Security light goes out. Let's put in number two again. Security light's out. This means both keys are learned at this moment. And we can even program a third one. So we're going to take key number three. Let's see if I can get this all in frame. Key off. It may or may not learn this one right now. 
I'm hoping it doesn't, so it flashes rapidly. Yep. Okay, so flashes rapidly. This one obviously isn't learned. Here's the trick to adding a third key. So, put key number one in. Light goes out. Put key number two in. And the light goes out. And then put key number three. Bam. Okay. All three are learned now. Ignition off. So now everything's paired. If this was in the vehicle, it would start. So now we're going to switch over to the failure case. We're just going to use their gauge cluster. So I'm going to unplug all this and restart Ford software. There we go. Got one flashing rapidly. So let's just go on that one. Start a new session. And we're at the 10 minute window again. So I'm going to stop and restart once the 10 minutes is up. Alright, the 10 minutes is up on the bad cluster. Security accents granted. Parameter reset. Turn the ignition off. Disconnect the tool. Wait 10 seconds. Alright. Let's keep an eye on the security light here. Stay solid. Let's go back to the first key. Still solid. Let's try a third key. Still no dice. And actually, when you check the codes in this state, it will say two keys, you know, whatever code for two keys not programmed. So, for whatever reason, getting the key data from the ring to memory on the gauge cluster isn't happening. I actually put an oscilloscope on here and compared it with the good cluster. And it looks like, I mean, obviously, data's transmitting fine from here because I was able to program it with the good cluster. They both actually received it on the receive side chip. But the problem, I think, is between the receiving chip and getting it into memory on the microcontroller. Because this one, apparently, is in the waiting for keys to be learned mode. But it can't transmit it between the chip in the microcontroller. So that's where the problem lies. Another caveat to doing the paths relearn that I've come across with uh, some other scan tools are that a few of them aren't able to actually complete the parameter reset and relearn, specifically some of the snap-on tools in Autel. Um, there's a few places locally that have bought modules and weren't able to do the parameter reset despite their tool being able to access the security functions. Um, in those cases, I've gone out with the official board software and my tool and it was able to erase and relearn on the first try. So uh, that might be another, you know, thing to keep in mind if you're unable to erase and relearn the keys before you go buying a new gauge cluster.